So people can kind of tell, oh, I do get one of these. Wonderful. All right. People can kind of tell from looking at me that I do drugs. They're just not exactly sure which ones. Because I kind of like have a heroin body, but an Adderall face. I'm athletic the way like a plastic bag is athletic. Like I can dodge traffic, but I'm not gonna lift more than one gallon of milk. Yeah, I like Portland a lot. I moved here a couple of years ago. I've learned a lot about the place since I got here. Like I learned a lot of people in Portland hate that show Portlandia. And I understand, because I'm from Tampa, Florida. I hate that show Cops. <laughs> I'm trying to be a healthier person since I moved here, though, but I think all that actually means that I'm eating way more trail mix than I used to. And I don't think that's good enough. I don't think there's any sort of alchemy that turns M&Ms into health food just because you mix them with granola and then implied you can only eat them outside. <laughs> nah, alchemy is that if you put weed chocolate in your trail mix, it transmutes into couch mix. It's like lead into gold, if gold made you eat all of the lead in your studio apartment. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be a healthier person, like I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks about mindfulness. Uh, so far, all I've learned is that I'll listen to anything to get the fuck out of my own thoughts. That and the closest I get to meditation is pooping while my phone is dead. <laughs> If I took the charger out of my bathroom and the trail mix out of my diet, I'd spend more time in Nirvana than Kurt Cobain did. <laughs> you got me. Okay. Always trust a drummer to laugh at a joke about a dead guitarist. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people are real worried about a, a self-checkout at the grocery store. Me, personally, I love self-checkout because I don't have to talk to anyone while I'm panic attack high at 2 in the afternoon trying to buy weird meat. I'm not picking up a half pound of buffalo so I can have a conversation with somebody who also dropped out of community college. Last time I used self-checkout, I thanked the guy who watched me bag my own groceries. And that guy ignored me. <laughs> Turns out he took a job as a cash register's bodyguard so he doesn't have to talk to anyone while he's high as fuck at two in the afternoon. Watching people pick out weird meat. You know how that phrase goes, if you've got time to lean, you're getting replaced by a machine. <laughs> I should have saved the symbol for them. But you only get one, folks. You only get one. Yeah, a lot of people are worried about self-driving cars. Me, personally, I'm way more worried about self-driving people. Because people have been bad at driving since we invented driving. I bet one of the first people to get behind the wheel of a Model T was like, yeah, this thing's cool and all, but can it drift? <laughs> Do you think if I gun it right now, I can jump this cobblestone bridge? Nah, I don't know. To me, the problem is that, like, accidents are always going to happen. But at least when the cars cause them, that'll be all be about math. When people cause accidents, that's all about emotions. Like, your self-driving car is never going to start going 75 and tailgating on the interstate because its marriage is falling apart. <laughs> Technology is a dangerous thing. Like, I've been spending way too much time on Facebook lately, and I'm not doing anything good with it. Like, I'm just on Facebook to find out what bad shit has been happening to my friends since high school. I don't want to hear good news on Facebook. I don't want to hear about how you just got a new job, or you just graduated college, or you're really happy you just had a baby. I want to hear about how you just dropped out, got fired, and you're really sad you just had a baby. <laughs> I'm not on Facebook to find out my ex is fucking a doctor. I'm on Facebook to find out my ex is fucking a DJ that calls himself the doctor. <laughs> All right, guys, I think that's it for me tonight. You all have a good night. Woo! Yeah. Nathan, hi, everybody. Nathan, before you leave, uh, let's talk. You've got a few shows coming up.
Yeah, uh, I'm on Earthquake Hurricane over at Ford Food and Drink uh, this Thursday. Um, and uh, every Tuesday night, every single Tuesday at 9... P- oh, he's coming down. He's, nope. Oh, I was oh. supposed to ignore it, but there's a man dropping from the ceiling. And I can't promote shows in the middle of that, okay? I don't know. What are you talking about? Of course, what am I talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about... <laughs> The things I hallucinate when I have to promote myself. That's what I'm talking about, I guess. You've got a residency uh, every Tuesday. Uh, yeah. Every Tuesday at uh, Brody Theater, I host the open mic. I uh, sign up on the internet, uh, uh, the Brody Theater stand up. Uh, just message me or something. I'll talk to you about it. It's complicated. 9 30 every Tuesday, and then every fourth Friday, I host uh, the Comedy Bowl there, too, at Brody Theater. And just one more question, um, Nathan, uh, where can my audience find you on social media? Uh, at Starving Hardest, pretty much all across the board. All right? Awesome. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, Nathan thank you. Hardest!